Okay, we got our imperfect food box today. Our delivery day is Wednesday, and I'm about to open the box to show you what's inside our box. I placed the order, and I since I get delivery on Wednesday, I have to have my order in by Monday at 12 o'clock. So let's open and see what I got. Imperfect Food does a great job of packaging your food in the box. They wrap it well. So here's the first thing, the paper. And I didn't get much this time because I plan to do my own shopping. But this is the second time ordering the hot cocoa mix. I got two on the first round and I gave one to our son and we carried one with us when we went um, to the cabin back in September. So that's the first thing. Next, I ordered asparagus, so that's what this is. Looking good. I ordered broccolini, and that's what this is here. Ordered a lot of greens. And I got, I believe, the red leaf kale. So I have a bunch of that. So I got three vegetables so far. Serving enough for two people, the hot cocoa. And one thing I was excited to get was the movie theater style popcorn kernels. We have been enjoying popcorn lately, my husband and I snacking on it. We have been using the Jiffy Pop, the microwave popcorn, and the air popcorn maker to make popcorn. So I plan to use this in our air popcorn maker. Looking forward to that. And you see what I mean, they packed in so well. Um, this is about melted, so our box has been out there a while, but uh, I figured it would be because this is not the Wednesday that my husband is home, so I didn't order anything that I thought would be perishable. So these are the two ice packs you get, and usually if there is perishable things like meat, then you get a, um, a bag. I'll show you what the bag is like in a little bit. And the last thing I ordered was the Bob's Red Meal Gluten-Free Pancake Mix. So that's it, and I think I paid about $22 to $24 for everything here. And hold on, I'll show you the bag that perishables come in. So here's the bag that perishables come in along with the ice pack when you have like chicken, fish, or things like that. or And they're usually frozen or other goods like that. So I didn't get one this time because I canceled the chicken. I knew I didn't need that. We have loads and loads of meat, but I did want some vegetables for this week. And we are playing around with a new waffle um, iron that we bought at Target. So I wanted some pancake mix. And I just, anytime I see this or ginger beer, I'm on it. So, Imperfect Food. If you don't know what it's about, I'll leave a brief description in the drop down box so that you can check it out. I'll leave my coupon code so that you can get money off your first order and I probably get a few cents off my next order if you decide to sign up. I have been enjoying this. I think this is my fourth box thus far so I will be placing an order next week. I get my box every other week. So you can choose weekly or every other week. I don't know if you can go any further out than that. But Imperfect Food, it's the food that grocery stores may find that buyers won't want to pick up because it may look a little funny or off. Or they have additional surplus of things. Like right now, who's going to the movies? Nobody, hardly. So the movie theaters is they're overloaded with popcorn so we get popcorn at a ridiculously great price so yeah that's my little box that I got today as soon as I came home I saw it and I said let me get my camera out and show you what I got in my imperfect box this week Toodaloo. okay you're looking at the asparagus that I received in my imperfect box I have lined a baking sheet with parchment paper sprinkled on some avocado oil. I've wrapped the asparagus inside of uh, bacon that I received from my Imperfect Box two weeks ago. And now I'm going to put this in the oven and let it bake. I did add a little more avocado oil on top with a little pepper and I think it does not need any salt because the bacon has enough of that in it. And there's my oven. It's ready. So in it's going to go.